Okay, so this video is an introduction to Dendro. Dendro is a powerful technology that offers really a completely new way to engage with information and to more and more effectively learn from it. Dendro incorporates a process that many learning enthusiasts will already be familiar with, that is spaced repetition, which is already used in programs like Anki and things like that, but it adds to it this other process, which was pioneered by a guy called Piotr Wozniak, who created SuperMemo. And this process is called incremental reading. Incremental reading is new. It's quite tricky to understand. And so hopefully it will become clear how incremental re reading works and the power of incremental reading throughout this video. So here's Dendro. Um, basically, you load in heaps of different stuff that you're interested to learn about. And then when you log on each day, you simply press engage. Okay, so here's the first flashcard that's come up for me today. In Dendro, they're called tasks, and it's asking me blank before you memorize. The answer here is learn before you memorize. Here's the answer, and that'll bring it back to me in 162 days. Here's another one. Um, I'm going to go with graphical representations of information in memory are more stable than verbal. Great. Okay, so we've just seen tasks and now I've seen a new article that I loaded in to Dendro that I haven't read before. So my goal right now is just to read this article and find interesting parts in it. So here goes. So here's an interesting bit. So I'm going to highlight that and click add note. This is a cool little bit as well. So I'm going to make a note out of this. Now, something that's completely different about incremental reading to standard reading is with incremental reading, there's no pressure to finish the article today. So all I'm going to do, I've read enough. I've clipped out two interesting ideas from this. So I'm just going to put my cursor here, bookmark where I'm up to, and click Next. Okay, so here we see a idea that I've kind of whittled down from an original source. So let's see where it came from. So it came from this article, Mental Models, and it's all the way down here. And Originally, I clipped out this full note and then I rephrased it myself like this and I added a note out of my rephrased version and now I'm seeing this rephrased version again. So I'll see if this is in the most simple and concise representation that I can get it in. I could probably get it slightly um, more refined, but I think that's probably okay. So what I'm going to do now is create a task for myself and test myself on this. And the first thing I'm going to do is just test myself on the fact that it's called the Lindy effect. So add task. So what's happened there is I've created this task like that. And I'm going to leave this here. So. So this brings me to one of the key key points of value that Dendro has been offering for me. Once upon a time when I just had Anki as a tool, and I still use Anki, Anki is a wonderful tool, but what would have happened is I would have been reading this article on mental models and would have come across these interesting ideas and I'd be trying to turn them into Anki cards straight away. The problem with that is I would be trying to make an Anki card prior to actually absorbing the lesson and refining the idea. What Dendro supports me to do, and this is the incremental idea, is snip this out one day, um, this key idea, think, oh, that's interesting. Then the next time it comes up, I'm able to re read it, reflect on it again, rephrase it in my own words. That's there. Then the next time that that comes up, I've been able to again rephrase it, and then I turn it into a task. So instead of trying to rush that card-making process, which is what I've traditionally done in Anki, Dendro helps me to refine that knowledge slowly and over time. So hopefully that's been a helpful overview of Dendro, um, at least some of the parts of it, and good luck exploring incremental reading if you decide to give it a go.